Zaro's business currently is predominantly coal-based, where we produce coal from uh, five uh, operations located in Limpopo as well as Pumalanga. So the Belfast Implementation Project is an exciting greenfield coal mining project for us. I think it's the first mine in the country, if not in the industry, where we've got a, a digital twin, which is really developing the full mine in its scope digitally. The constraints at a traditional mine was that the correct information wasn't necessarily in the correct hands. So your turnaround time and your decision making actually takes a lot longer. So you don't get the necessary improvement. When you are digitally connected, you actually get the information in real time and you can make your decisions a lot faster. And then you can also change from being reactive to more predictive and then even to prescriptive. Safety for Xara is extremely important. Each and every individual working at Belfast Coal is important to us and that we have a safety culture on the mine that's actually living. And with an Xara, we've got a drive to make sure that we send every employee home safely every day. Personally, what I've found unique about the project was the consideration in the design of the mine, given that it is located among several wetlands in the Mpumalanga area. And as a result, we had to reconsider the original design. This whole mining environment is quite far from, from the plant. When we should have placed the plant in the wetland, the impact on the environment would have been big. So that's why it's 1.7 kilometers to actually get to the plant environment. In this area, the whole footprint on the environment has been significantly reduced, 98% actually, because um, the future of nature and the future of coexistence is very important to Exaro. Exaro wants to access uh, the coal resource, so now they have implemented a resettlement action plan project with the two communities. Yeah, they own the land under the CPA, which is a communal property association. It's very positive. Most people are very happy. I think the most important benefit that they've acquired is the security of tenure. They have water inside their houses, flush toilets and electricity. Straight from the beginning, um, the community indicated they don't want to move to a township type of settlement because they are very attached to the land and a lot of them have livestock and get their produce from the land as well. With regards to sustainability, Exara has looked at quite a lot of aspects. So it's green architecture, solar geysers, we've got rainwater harvesting tanks. A lot of effort has gone into looking at how can we make it as efficient as possible. The relationship between Exara and the community is quite unique because of the involvement of management in all the interaction between the consultants and the community. Belfast in itself, one of the key ingredients that we had in so far as ensuring that those communities become sustainable long after we are no longer around. So it was going to be important that as we are there, is how do we start creating new economies around those areas? How can we create those building blocks whilst we are there? So there's an, another vibrant, thriving business pasta that can emerge from that area. So in 2011, I've got an opportunity to tender with Exaro, and then I was awarded this project. It's my first project in general building. What was very much fundamental about Exaro is that there was this contractor development project. They put you into class, and then you learn the issue of financial management, you learn how to do proper costing, and then so forth and so on. We've come a long way with Exaro, so they are trying to cover the issue of unemployment, they're also trying to cover the issue of inequality, and we are surrounded by poverty. But as a, as a young man, they've taken an initiative to say that we can be able to, to groom this one, then he can be able to create jobs and can be able to uplift the others. In looking at our vision, our strategy for Exaro, it's about how you want to create sustainability for the future, defined by the things that you're doing within the communities that you live in, and how you transform and become the solution. 
So you don't do this because it's a cost. You do this because it's an imperative. And it's about a purpose that is bigger than us, the purpose that is generational. So everything for us is about how we are able to address the critical challenges that face our society in this country in such a manner that we can actually power better lives.